see if you have thermal panes you want to uh, you want to inset them so you're gonna you're gonna rip them like that I'm not sure what the carpenter term for it is but I knew my thermal pane was my thermal pane's an inch thick so I went just a, a little over an inch in depth so the wood sits up just a tiny bit higher than the than the uh, the glass to protect the glass in case something fell on it it might hit the wood first instead of busting the glass and then uh, cut your depth to half the width of the 2x4 which is three quarters of an inch because these are an inch and a half so anyway this is my ends I've already got them I've already got them made so all I gotta do is put them together first thing you do is put in a, one of those three inch screws to hold it all together just to just to hold it while you put the uh, It'll hold it together while you put this bracket in. All right, uh, four brackets are in. When you put everything together, try to make sure everything uh, is flush so that when you put your glass in, it'll sit flat. I'm not much of a carpenter, so if I can build this, anybody can. I'm more of a welder than a woodworker. I'm more of a wood butcher, really. So now we're going to cut our back panel pretty simple just measure the box that you have built now the two outside dimensions and that's what you're going to cut your board at inches up and halfway between your box, both ends, you're going to want to put a four inch hole. Making our wood pieces that hold our uh, our soffit up away from the, the back of this creates an airspace in behind. So what you want to do is you want to measure this board, the end board, which is a uh, 30 and a half on mine, whatever it is on yours. Basically, if you're going to trim out this styrofoam so that the two by four goes up against the uh, outside board. So in my case it's 30 and a half. So I've got my two boards, you want two of them. And they fit in in here. But first you want to create some air space so that the air will flow behind the, the soffit and have a way to go through up towards the top. So now they're marked at two inches 
and a three inch bit in the middle and here, two inches at the other end. that part. In the middle you do the same thing what I did this side. Then you knock out all these little pieces. So try not to knock out the left the end piece. Doesn't have to be pretty has to do the job. Once you get to this point, or actually it should be done before, I just, I screwed up. But you got to take about an inch off this. So now you're left with this. Put it down in your slots, put it to the bottom, and just put one wood screw close to the bottom of where it's going to hit the lower part of this, not the top part, because you'll split this piece off, so put it low. So this is, a, this is aluminum soft material. This stuff came 10 feet long, which is perfect for my circumstances. I'm cutting it exactly in half. And the two pieces will have to overlap a little bit, but uh, they'll fit right in the box. Screw down to the middle, one, one screw in the middle, one on each end, and center it in the box. Then cut it in half. Okay, so I got my aluminum soffit in. Now all I have to do is blow out all the crap and paint the aluminum part of it with the barbecue paint. Don't paint the styrofoam with the barbecue paint because the solvents in the paint will melt the foam. You can get a little bit on there, but it won't hurt it too much, but uh, you can't paint this part. You have to paint this part with an a oil base like an alkyd or something like that. I'm not sure how a flat black latex based paint would work. I'm sure it wouldn't melt the foam at all, but uh, I don't know how long it would hold up in the heat. That's up to you to experiment. This is about as far as I've gotten with it. I'm going to paint it now. Uh, it's going to take forever to dry, and then I'm going to put the glass in. It's going to be good to go. I'm not going to show the painting part because it's just a little too cold today. But, uh,. Other than that, basically to put the glass in, you just run a bead of caulking, drop it in, center it up, let that cure, and then it's just a matter of uh, doing the venting into the home. Uh, that'll be in another film later. Sun's about as good as it gets. It's just a little afternoon. And I'm going to check this here, and it says 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It's, uh, it was about 70 degrees or so Celsius. That's as good as it gets on an ice cold day.